back to the channel, everybody. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Kevin. And I'm Dan. And together we're Compass Roads. So today we decided to take adventure and it started at what time? It was 3.30 uh, we woke up. 3.30, because we had to drive like an hour and a half from where we were at in Colorado Springs to make it to the Red Rock Amphitheater. Uh, we wanted to come up here this early so we can watch the sunrise come over the backdrop of uh, the Denver downtown. And it was pretty spectacular. And even though we got here an half hour before sunrise, the parking lot, the top parking lot was already full. There are a lot of people uh, in the amphitheater waiting for the sunrise to show up. It was a good call on us to come up here early so we could actually get the spot that we wanted. And we weren't expecting it to be so full for every sunrise in the morning. Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of people there, some people, because it's it was 60 degrees when we got here. Actually, when we left the, the RV, it was 57. And by the time we got here, it was 60 degrees. The wind's blowing. Hopefully, uh, the, the microphone's not picking up too much of the wind. Uh, so yeah, we got here. There was people, it was already bundled up. There was people, I guess they bring their blankets. Some people bring pillows. So you got those that crowd of people that's here to watch the sunrise and they're out there just doing their thing, all bundled up, talking, wait for the sunrise. And then... You have the fitness people here and they're out bringing tires up. They're up doing stair climbers up and down, back and forth. Um, it's amazing. I mean, in the pictures, you're gonna see how big this amphitheater is and how many steps there are. I'm just taking one, one, um, step from the bottom to the top and it, it is strenuous let alone going back and forth up and down so if you're in the area and you're looking to get in shape this is probably one of the the areas that you might want to come to if you're actually if you're like me who likes to run outside i don't like treadmills i don't like any of that stuff now it'll take me a while to get to the fitness level of some of these individuals because there is no doubt in my mind that denver and colorado springs have probably got the most fittest individuals on the planet here. Oh, definitely, yeah. With the altitude and, and them still just putting in the work, you, it's there's no doubt that they're all fit. And you know, if you do have this as a regular routine, um, there's a lot of things to do in the amphitheater as far as exercise besides just climbing steps and running back and forth. Saw a lot of people doing burpees. The um, space between the steps, uh, the landing is wide enough so you can get down to push-ups and uh, sit-ups and all sorts of exercises. I saw a guy doing burpees down each um, pad. There were a few people that brought their coffee cups out here too and they just brought a book and they were just wanting to be out here in nature and uh, and read their books. So I didn't really get them on film because it looked like they were trying to take be by themselves. They were getting away from everybody. That was when you went up to the top. I was down below and I was trying to get a, f a couple more still photos which hopefully we can put them in this uh, video with you with this video. Hopefully we can put those photos in this video so you can see those as well. Yeah, and it looked like they just uh, do it on a regular routine because they had their blankets and everything so they knew what to expect. Okay, as we drive through the Red Rocks Amphitheater, here's some information we learned. It's an open air amphitheater built into a rock structure near Morrison, Colorado, just 10 miles west of Denver. There is a large tilted disc shaped rock behind the stage and huge vertical rocks angled outwards from both sides of the stage and has a seating area for up to 9,525 people. The elevation of the amphitheater's top row is approximately 6,450 feet above sea level and the surrounding Red Rocks Park covers 868 acres. The audience faces east-northeast towards southern Denver with a skyline of downtown visible to the left. Looking at the history, it took the natural amphitheater of Red Rocks over 200 million years to form, but it was in early 1900 John Brisbane Walker who owned the property, who had a vision of artists performing on a stage nestled in the perfectly acoustic sounds of Red Rocks, which likely were used by the Ute tribe in earlier times. Walker produced several concerts between 1906 and 1910 on a temporary platform, and from his dream, the history of Red Rocks as an entertainment venue began. In 1927, the city of Denver purchased the Red Rocks Amphitheater from Walker for $54,000, which is the equivalent of $806,000 today. The amphitheater is currently owned and operated by the city of Denver. The Civilian Conservation Corps began construction in 1936 and completed the amphitheater to its present form 
when the venue was open to the public and formally dedicated on June 15th of 1941. Since then, many notable performances and recordings for film and television have taken place there. Performances have been held at Red Rocks for over a century. The earliest documented performance at the amphitheater was the grand opening of the Garden of the Titans, put on by famed publisher John Brisbane Walker on May 31st, 1906, featuring Pietro Citrino and his 25-piece brass band. That was the formal opening of the natural amphitheater for use by the general public after Walker purchased it with the proceeds of his sale of Cosmopolitan magazine. Renowned opera singer Mary Garden put Red Rocks on the world music map with her performance on May 10, 1911. Having performed at many opera halls around the world, she pronounced Red Rocks the finest venue at which she had ever performed. Now, it has held regular concert seasons every year since 1947. The first performance of each season is the Easter Sunrise Service, which is a non-denominational service on Easter Sunday of each year. The Red Rocks Amphitheater hosts a wide range of shows throughout the year. They feature music from across all genres and have hosted acts like The Beatles, Mumford & Sons, A Perfect Circle, John Denver, U2, Depeche Mode, Rush, Kenny Rogers, Odessa, Atmosphere, and so many others. Aside from just concerts though, the venue is also used for yoga classes and movie nights. Jetty Lee of the rock band Rush said, it's an amazing location, one of the most beautiful concert venues in America or anywhere. I would hazard a guess it's the one of the most beautiful anywhere. The Red Rocks Amphitheater was featured in an episode of South Park and was the starting and finish line of the reality show, The Amazing Race Season 9. The Red Rocks formations were featured in an episode of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman and several other television shows, movies, and music videos. Well, we made it back from today's adventure. We really hope that you liked the information that we provided on the Red Rocks Amphitheater. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Don't forget to hit that bell icon right next to it and select all so you're notified each and every time that we drop a video. We're looking at dropping a new video every Wednesday, so please follow along as we grow our channel. There's going to be more videos to come on our adventures here in Colorado as well as here in the local Colorado Springs area. We will see you in the next video.